Hello, and welcome back to Broken Chess, the show that has somehow returned. I am here with our most frequent guest, George Grothier, celebrating the glorious city of Oakland, California, in the background. Uh, George, how are you doing until I said that? Well, you, you, I, I, I don't like that. Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, anyway, we, we are playing... Uh, Trojan horse chess today, which does not mean that we sent viruses to each other's computers. Um, instead, that you know of. That's true. I know I didn't send a virus to his computer. And for uh, that, I thank you. You don't need it. Your computer is slow enough. Um, <laughs> it, it might accidentally help you if I did. Yeah. Um, One of those helpful anyway, viruses you hear about. Yeah. Um, the Trojan horses that we'll be dealing with is one of each of our knights, uh, has a cadre of enemy soldiers inside. We have written down beforehand which knight it is so that, you know, if one knight gets captured, we can't lie and say it was the other one. Um, and we'll, we'll reveal that at, 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 as, when the time comes. There we go. Um, that knight, when it is in the opponent's side of the board, so for me, um, the fifth to eighth ranks for George, one to four, um, can uh, open up to reveal the soldiers, meaning that the knight will turn into a queen and any adjacent free squares will be um, taken up with pawns. So for example, I move my knight here to f5, George had a pawn here, that knight would become a queen, uh, e6 and e4 would be filled with pawns, as would f4, g4, g5, g6, f6, and that's all. Uh, George's pawn would still be there, um, however, it would probably not survive long. Um, we would make this change at the start of our next move. So I would move my knight here. George would make a move. My next move would say, surprise, my knight is a Trojan horse, would turn into all those pieces, and then I would make a move probably with the queen of one of those pawns. Uh, I think that is all the explanation necessary. Um, I turned on the uh, show legal moves. I think I'm going to turn that off because we'll be making some illegal moves. Anyway, um, I won the uh, FIDE standard coin toss to decide who will be white. So I will go first and uh, play. Now, um, who's to say that I didn't win the coin toss and deferred? That's true, Black. but um, unlike most um, big tournaments, we're not playing one game with each color, so that would be stupid. Anyway, sure. I'm going to play knight c3. Okay. Was that a guess? Uh, we got to get the going, knight back in this game. I'm going to counter with pawn to c6. The Karo Khan. I see. Um, you know what? Now I'll go e4. Oh, okay. And um, I think this, this is an interesting strategy because, um, you know, you gotta normally you're uh, okay with exchanging knights or knight for bishop in... Um, in chess, but that is, you know, not the case with one of the knights here. So I think we will um, be an interesting approach. We'll see how we how we handle this. Yeah, that's my move. I made it. All right. Uh, yeah, you're an adult. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, you know, it's an easily defendable. But now I'll go knight f three. Now I'm going to go knight to f6. Well, I'm going to I'm going to take a free pawn. So knight takes e5. All right. Do you do that? I'm going to move my bishop from f8 to d6. So, 
smart. Hmm. I will. Now this is definitely violating some chess principles here, moving the same piece too many times in the opening. But I'll go knight to c4. Now is that because that's my Trojan horse knight, or is I just keeping you keeping you on your toes, second guessing? Well, I am going to protect my bishop by moving it to c7. All right. So the story of the Trojan horse obviously dates back to the Revolutionary War when... No, it's, it's um, High School Musical when Troy got Gabriella that horse. No, I'm pretty sure it's the Revolutionary War when President Lincoln said, tear down this wall and then sent a horse. Well, you know, if only Declan were on this episode because he is the history expert. Um that would be uh fake history, maybe. All right, I'll go uh go bishop d3 here and uh overprotect that pawn. Sure, sure, that was necessary. Uh I'm gonna activate my other knight here in the only legal move that it has. If you wouldn't mind doing the Oh yeah. Thanks. That's weird that you could make the first move but not the rest. Yeah. Um, here, maybe if I change the settings here for you to play as black, we'll try that. We'll try it on my next move. Yes, we will. All right. Um, I feel like there's really only one move here, and that is A3. Smart. Well, I will activate... I keep saying activate because that's Seven, the word that you use. Best term. But I'm going to try to actually move a piece this time. We'll see how that goes. And it's not letting me. Real, real Padwan status here for you. <laughs> it certainly feels that way. Uh, let's go pawn to b5. All right. Rude. Um... Well, I think, uh, yeah, there's only only one move here, and that is knight e3. And now I will go on hmm. Which pawn do I want to move? Now let me move my knight to c5. Okay. Perfectly league well. Indeed. What are you going to do? Activate your queen? Oh, yeah. If this was our normal game, yeah, I probably would go uh, queen g... No, I would not go queen g4. I'd probably... You should well, go queen g4 anyway. Uh, yeah, do it for the memes. Um, do it. We'll both, both has gambit there. <laughs> um, no, I think I'll just castle. You son of a bitch. Got some castling manually there. I'll match you. All right. Easy enough. Um, I wanted to castle on the other side. Well, you should have moved some different pieces then. Yeah. Um, I 
So, of course, when President Lincoln sends the horse over the wall, the soldiers that are inside are obviously from Canada, as we learned from the War of 1812. Yep. Which, of course, hadn't happened yet. So during the American Revolution, when President Lincoln sends the horse over the Berlin Wall, they leave the horse during the night, as we all know from the story. And of course, we don't know if this story is true or not, um, but legends and, and historical texts have read as such, and I choose to believe yeah. history that I was taught in school. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 yes. Uh, so when they leave the horse, of course, they are on the northern side. They can't side. make a drink. That's important. They do lead the horse to Troy, but they, they can't make, make a drink. No. Exactly. Um, but they do. Horseback. They leave the the horse on the north side of the Berlin Wall, as we all know, it was divided north and south. Yep. And it's my turn, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, famously, how Germany was divided um, during the American Revolution of. Uh, North and South. That's how I remember it. Yep. All right. I am going to move my bishop to A6. All right. Well, um, to quote that one vine, surprise. That was my Trojan horse knight. So, king me and pawn me and pawn me. Um, so, make sure I do the math right. All three adjacent squares. This is chaos. I love it. Yeah, I would love to see what the stockfish... Can I turn on the stockfish evaluation? I would love to see what that is. Um... This better not make everything go away. All right, few Evaluation. It's got to be mate. Only plus 13. I'm kind of disappointed. All right, turn it off. It's making me sad. <laughs> uh, all right, and then let's put the piece thing back up because theoretically we might have to do that for you. All right, so now it is my move. Yeah. And... It's got really bad really fast. It did. Um, all right. So which pawn do I take with? I guess I'll yeah, I'll I'll check you with um with my E6 pawn there. So how many I got seven more pawns and we hadn't captured any. So I have 15 pawns on the board, which feels like too many. Yeah, but you have to remember when President Lincoln sent the Trojan horse over the north side of the Berlin Wall during the American Revolution, they only had about eight soldiers inside. It wasn't that big of a horse. That's true. Well, yeah, because of course they had to they had to build it out of out of wood since this was pre-industrial revolution. Exactly. Because uh, it was the yeah, obviously it was the American Revolution, not the Industrial Revolution. That was Henry Ford started that in um yeah. What, yeah. yeah, so there's only eight of them inside, but the fact that you have 15 pawns on the board now, that's almost two Trojan horses, and I know we each only have one. It would be interesting to see a variant of this variant where we have two Trojan horses, mm. and both knights have the capability yeah, um, that would be, of that would sort be quite of something. transforming. I'm going to go king to h8 here. Okay. Now, I feel like there's got to be a checkmate in here very soon. Uh, but I am not that good at chess. Um, <laughs> so let's... Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to turn the stockfish evaluation back on, because that might that might show me. Um, so I go there... Um, Boy, you got a lot of pieces on the board, man. I sh I sure do. It you know it feels uh, like I said, arguably too many. 
Um, no shortage of options, clearly. I mean, you no. you should if I were if I were in your position right now, I would probably move like my queenside rook. I, I, I don't actually think I'm going to do that. I think... I'm just saying it's an option. Let's, it is an option. I'm an not option. one I'm going to do, but but you are correct that it is an option. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, no, I'm I'm definitely just taking the knight. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. you? Yeah, I am. Okay, well, thankfully... This isn't showing up with my background here, but uh, it's my was not B here. knight was my Trojan horse. So you have not captured my Trojan horse. All right. Um, I, I guess I should have guessed you'd probably be a little more cautious with it if it was. Yeah, I am going to begin my assault run on the Death Star and capture your pawn at G6 with my pawn. On H7. Okay. Now, really spoil for choice here. Um, I think just taking back with the queen is the right move. Yeah. And now you I'm, see. I'm pretty. No, go ahead. Had I been in your position just now, with my plethora of pieces, I would have used my new queen to capture the Trojan horse before it had a chance to do anything. That's that's an interesting idea, yeah. But obviously you don't need to. No. Um I'm going to capture your pawn. With my rook. Uh, at F7. Yeah, so that does defend against checkmate. On the next move. Far be it from me to be skilled at chess. And now I do wish I had taken your Trojan horse, but I'm not. It's uh, forward, forward. Um, I mean, so did the yeah. Japanese. Yeah, they wish that they had realized that the Trojan horse was a Trojan horse uh, over oh, the north yeah. side of the Berlin Wall. Um, so the Japanese or the Swedish? I can't remember. I always no. I think it was the Japanese, and then they um, did it like their kind of version. Of their response, the retaliation was Pearl Harbor. Um, right in World War One. Yes, yeah, so where they sent a bunch of planes disguised as planes. Uh, to attack the um the uh pacific ocean yeah. um so i'm going to capture your pawn at f6 with my pawn yep and we'll see if i can't skedaddle my way out of this yeah, you will need to do some serious skedaddling if you if you are to uh, to survive there. Well, that's um, what that's what the Japanese military said to General MacArthur mm -hmm. in the Battle of North of the Berlin Wall. Yep, sir. Please skedaddle. Are we able? To that is you? one of the more famous quotes from American history. Yeah, world All history. Right. If you think about it. Yeah, really. All right, I'm going to go pawn e5 here. Okay. Now, I'm going to go pawn g5. I think that's it delays the inevitable. I'm sorry, I said G five. Oh whoops. Pawn takes G five. Okay. Um well then I think Queen H seven is checkmate. Yeah. 
yeah that 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 would be that yeah so much like unless i activate my trojan horse all over the i don't board you see i think you only had a few pawns inside but i actually have 64 pawns in my trojan horse that's a major osha violation yeah those are not are not safe working conditions that's um, for one night i think no i think osha is actually how this whole thing ended i think um probably yeah when the japanese went after pearl harbor um osha was like sorry that is far too many planes um and you well not... also you have to remember that the japanese had attacked over the pacific ocean right yeah which is i mean obviously and you need like flood insurance for that um yeah yeah uh so hope hopefully you you enjoyed this version of chess i think uh we're we're wrapping up here um and hopefully you learn some history too you know we don't you know, we want to entertain you but um if we can do a little educating as well uh, on the way uh we love it if you saw the um sisu the latest film bros episode you may have uh you know, learn a little World War II history there. And here you're, you're kind of, well, you're, you're learning a lot. I think about, about a lot of different uh, errors in American history, which, uh, which I think is pretty great. Um, We're trying to give you a well-rounded experience on the channel. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so uh, I'll just summarize it by saying that um, the Trojan horse, probably Abraham Lincoln's greatest accomplishment as president, um, before obviously he met his untimely death at the hands of Achilles, and um, and we'll wrap it up with George. How how broken? How fun? Um, I would say probably a six or seven broken. Mm. Um, the the rules. You know, obviously, I might have said something a little bit more if I had had a chance to activate my Trojan horse. Obviously, that didn't transpire. I think I got a little too much in my own head at the beginning by sending out a pawn and sending out the knight that wasn't the trojan horse mm. um you you activated your trojan horse right away right off the top so um i might reevaluate my approach next time so six or seven broken just because a lot of the gameplay followed somewhat standard proceedings um obviously things sped up really quick when you activated your horse uh found you know, a bunch of extra pawns you didn't know you had. Yep. And, you know, made some friends along the way, all that jazz, learned some history. Uh, and how fun? The moment of the Trojan horse releasing its soldiers and just seeing how crazy the board looks when all those extra pawns are added was pretty fun. I, I would, yeah. you know, I would play this one again. I would say that it was probably an eight, eight and a half fun. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. I think, especially, you know, I had, what, seven squares for free for pawns, where if, you know, maybe if it had been three, it wouldn't have been as, as dramatic of a reveal, but uh, it's definitely, I think I'd agree with you of probably a seven broken, because really, if, if one person can get their Trojan horse out before the other, especially, like, right by your castle king, where I was in a big position to attack, I think that's, it's like a, a very costly blunder, if you're able to allow that. Um but, you know, who knows if maybe like back to back turns we'd opened them up, that really would have been a, a very uh, dynamic attacking game. And I would have, uh, you know, this this uh, might be one we'll revisit in the future, perhaps uh, around the, the anniversary of the Trojan Horses deployment um, to win the, uh, the Revolutionary War around July 4th. I think it might be a, an interesting one. Um, and yeah, I would agree, probably like a, like an eight fun. I think we're, we're developing some theory around it still. So, uh, where we yeah. play this again, I'm sure we'd learn a lot. Um, I think I need to it's... review my Trojan horse scripture. Yes, definitely. We'll need to um, see what Homer Simpson wrote about that. Um, yeah, all right. Thanks for uh, coming back with this little revival uh, with us. Um, and um, yeah, let us know if you give this one a go or if you have any other versions in the comments. And we will see you next week. Bye.